Welcome to my walkthrough. Hope you like the title, and now let's begin the game. Let's just select English, and you will not believe how hard it was trying to sell my PS3 for the Rock Seal. I mean, it was really hard I'm trying to figure out what it does. I mean, I actually looked on YouTube and looked for some videos, but I couldn't find any. But I did find one that helped. Yeah. I'll see if I can send you guys a link to if you any of you want to try the Rock Seal on your PS3. Alright, I think we're about... Yep, yeah, here we are. Oh, I love this song. Good times. Alright, new game. Alright, you guys just sit tight and just watch the walkthrough. Hope you guys enjoy. as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh, how I was wrong. Save them! The dark armies have come! May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Good times, I remember this. It's been six years since this game came out. And a year since I played it. This is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. And hopefully, it'll become yours too. My friends, I welcome you to... The Legend of Spyro. A New Beginning. Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp, where a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, 
a young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers. The more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, too. But one of them, nonetheless. Alright, let's get started with this. For some of you Skylander fans who don't, who just found out about Spyro through, you know, Skylander Spyro's Adventure, this was actually came out before it. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. Yeah, you better run. Well, you see, you Skylander fans, um, Spyro was, um, had many, many games on his own before he, um, and Sparks, um, made it, made it to Skylands. The classic series and the legend series, which is what we're playing right now. Just testing out some of the controls. This is our, what it happens if you press L1. What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly? Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. You're toast when I catch you. Why couldn't you not? <laughs> Sometimes I just wonder, is it really that good for Spyro that Star Sparks can talk? I mean, talk and talk. For classic Sp Spyro, the first for the first, sorry, the first few games actually, Sparks never talked in those games. He just got. And he actually affected Sparrow's um, pro progression, um, as in his health. He, if he could, for instance, if um, he got attacked, his Sparks color would change depending on how many hits he could take. Then if Sparks disappears and Sparrow gets hit again, game over. He's right. Do something. I'm your buddy. My wings are getting moldy. Come on, Spyro, just let him out. Hey, we need him for the story. <laughs> Good. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker. So much Even when he even when he's saved, he gets in his still Mox Spyro. Aren't they supposed to be brothers? Aren't brothers supposed to care and we love each other? <laughs> okay, that was just a serious joke. No, no brothers I know actually do that. Or brothers and sisters. In fact, no sibling I know actually goes without fighting at one point or another. Even though they're not really siblings. Uh, excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Ch Chunky. I'm sorry. Doesn't Spark know he's going right into a skeleton? And, wait a minute. Is this a giant snake? Jesus. Found him. Alright, so I'll be doing a walkthrough of the entire trilogy and the Eternal Knight and Dawn Dragon as well. One thing I'm gonna try to do is really try is um try to get all the gay parts up before end of the year because it is the year of the dragon. I really want to post them all by this year. So that means I'll be working non stop on this. Except when I have to do schoolwork. Which sucks. What the hell? Monkeys! No, no, baboons. Let them go, you fluffy baboons. Or apes, or whatever the hell you are. Or mangroves, or 
only like mon mangles or you know the ones that are the same kind of faces they have um baboons more have a red face do they uh, i don't know <laughs> most animals confuse me even my own kind yep that's right the entire humans confuse me sometimes and i am human that's just the weird part but reptiles i can actually understand You bring me two different kinds of lizards, I can actually really tell, tell what you what they are. You bring me two different mammals that are alike, I probably can't do that. Oh, crap bombs? So this wind do baboons, or what the hell you are, have bombs. Shouldn't you be throwing bananas? Oh, I just love this slow motion. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Look. Wicked! yippee ki yay Oh, crap bomb. How oh, you just shut down one of your own guys? Hey, put that thing away before you hurt somebody. Let me out of here and fight me like a thing, whatever you are. You pathetic rat. Oh, don't piss off the dragon. Was that fire, dude? Take care of him. I gotta report the sender. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Cinder debuted in this game. Yeah, you know Cinder the Skylander. Well, the thing is, she wasn't always a good guy in this trilogy. Or will she? I don't know. And neither will you until you watch the entire walkthrough. Maybe it's, maybe only series, maybe only Sky Anderson is good. Maybe they're both good. Maybe they're both evil. I don't know. Well, just to okay, clarify, yes, both Cinder. Yeah, there are two different kinds of Cinders. There isn't a classic Cinder because she only debuted. She just debuted in, in 2006. And appeared for the rest of the trilogy and as well as Skylanders. She even became one of the star packs, one of the starting Skylanders for Skylanders Giants. I mean, it's there's no surprise there. She is Spyro's um, girlfriend. Get me out of here, Spyro! I think my wings are singed. <laughs> you okay? You almost torched me, dude. Wait. 